Hey guys, Serpent here. Um, just got a uh, Zotac GTX 1070, specifically for mining. Uh, I already got my uh, 980 Ti, which is going to be the rig that this eventually goes into. Mining, got my 1080 Ti in my main system, mining, and then the 660, which is not power efficient, but I'm just messing around with it anyways. The main purpose of this video is I've seen all the reddits and forums out there. Um, basically, if you look, this is a, um, Intel Core Duo, uh, E8400 processor, uh, Hyper Evo 212 on a old school Asus, um, I mean, really old school, look, old SLI card that you have to flip, um, Asus motherboard, crappy power supply, but whatever. Uh, Galexa 660 GTX. So, going to put the 1070 in here. Uh, PCI E times 16, but it's 1.1. So, I want to see before I put it in the system down there how it performs as far as hash rate. And by the way, the 660 is not too bad, but again, the power consumption, there is going to be absolutely no profit. So, anyways, here are the system specs. Uh, Core 2 Duo E8400. It's overclocked, but it doesn't matter during mining, so I need to turn that down for more power efficiency. Probably back down the stock. Um, bandwidth, you can see it right there. Everything you need to know so far about what this is currently running at and then I will pop the 1070 in there and see how it performs hash rate and then compare it to what others have shown online and then compare it to an actual um, PCIe 16 slot and then a PCIe uh, by one slot and see if the hash rate matters. A lot of people say it does but mining doesn't take that much bandwidth so i don't think it's really going to matter so we should get pretty good hash rate on um equihash uh ethereum uh whatever else is popular at the moment for november 2017 so i will be back with some results all right guys got things Working. There's the uh, Zotac chilling. Uh, so I know Nine's hash isn't the best. I personally use Claymore uh, or Zcash Miner. Uh, basically, not GUI miners is is what I'm trying to get at. So stock, um, the Zotac was running around one. 40 ish watts in power draw uh, of course we can get that better but I just wanted to so show the stocks out of you know out of box speeds that it was getting so equihash for uh, 418 uh, hashes or souls uh, the Creed 2.4 uh, Blake uh, 2.6 Lyra, Libra, whatever you call it, 37.9 mega hashes. Uh, and this one right here is for Ethereum. 25, and I know we can push that up to 30. I didn't do any of the dual mining because I wanted to see how it would do on dedicated. Um, and that's for nice hash. I do uh, have a a real miner in my opinion uh, but that's running on my main system I haven't installed it on this one yet so we'll see how that's due but stock out of the box is not bad and a little bit of tweaking and MSI afterburner or if you do use the command prompt windows like myself uh, you can actually configure it all in the configuration file or the batch file to you know run at a certain speed uh, restart if something goes wrong if something fails so it's really good to uh, 
use a command line rather than a GUI interface. I'm also going to use minor gate to see how it does. Um, but as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to install my uh, my programs and run them. Go for some Zcash that went up today. Uh, a lot of things went up recently. I'm not sure if it went down during the night, but during the day it was actually doing pretty good. Uh, Ethereum went up. Uh, Monero went up. Zcash went up. So, yeah. It was doing pretty good. Of course, my CPU is still overclocked, but whatever. So, let's see here, 25.7, yeah, that's alright, so around 25 out of the box. So I'll do some finagling and see what I could get the hash rate up to. And of course, these type of miners, speculation has it, and i kind of seen it for myself, these type of GUI miners would steal your hash rate. You might be losing about anywhere between 2 to 5% on your hash rate. Even though it's more convenient, even though it's easier to get up and running, you could be making a little bit more of a profit using a command line type um, miner instead of one of these. Just FYI. Alright, so we'll test it out and I'll get back. Alright guys, so wrapping up this video here. Um, this is one of my favorite sites to go to, whattomine.com. Uh, of course, I use it to compare different video cards between a you know 1080 Ti. 980 is not here, but I, I reference the 1070. I found that the 980 Ti would do close to what the 1070 can do in Equihash and um, Ethereum, but with higher wattage. Uh, so instead of 30, maybe like 27, 28 at 140, 150, sometimes 180 depending on the difficulty uh, and then uh, for hash rate on Equihash Souls it's like 380 to 415 at the same wattage uh, anywhere between 150 to 180 so it definitely eats up more power but we all knew that the 980 I did that anyways this is about whether or not running a on a system that's basically, you know, a LGA 775. It's an old system, right? It's outdated. Uh, not to mention, look at the power connectors I'm using. I got, anyways, whatever. That's besides the point. Power-wise is good. The socket and the motherboard, the processor, the motherboard, the socket is running at what we saw earlier. Um... You know, PCIe time 16, one by one. Does that impact your hash rate? And throughout all the conversations and all the arguments and trolling online from various people, to me, no, it doesn't. All right, so, you know, it, of course it's still a by 16, and people have mining rigs with, you know, converting a... Um, a 1x slot into a 16x so a video card can sit in it and then building their you know mining rigs having all the video cards lined up so this shouldn't matter either even if you have an old motherboard that's LGA 775 or pre Ivy Bridge where PCI E 3.0 come at, came out 2.0 lower 1.1 you'll be fine you're gonna get the same hash rate if not just close to it uh, of course here, here's the stock clocks, uh, Boost 1709, 202, and what to mine is a good website to get a good reference of where you should be at. If you mouse over uh, what you have selected, so I can, you know, select the 3480s. When I mouse over it, it tells me what I should be using as far as under voltage, uh, core clock, memory clock, all that good stuff. So this one for the 1070 says plus 150 and plus 500 with a TDP of 65 percent. Now I did that. Now of course this is stock so about 25 almost 26 mega hashes 
on average stock and let's see here which one is it no nope, that's mine set up all right so when I do the 65 TDP 150 and 500 the power draw goes down so averaging it was about like 140 watts as you can see up in the top right let's go ahead and reset that all right the hashes did go up ever so slightly so we're getting about 27 so a little bit almost two more almost maybe a, a one and a half hashes or mega hashes I guess you could say um, of course we reduced the temperature but we reduced the TDP so of course now if I go to my overclock setting if, if electricity is not an object then yeah you can do this but if electricity and you're doing this for the long haul I would highly recommend against it because you're gonna eat up your electricity bill depending, you know, depending on where you're at but obviously you just saw there if you did or didn't it may come back in a second we hit 30 mega hashes so we're, we're where we want to be not where we want to be in power because we're at 150 but we get in the hash rate we want again these gooey miners and speculation or not just in my experience will decrease your hash rate and I said one to five but it may be two to five um, or maybe that's what I said anyways it may only be two percent so two percent isn't much to you then fine but when you're doing uh, Claymore dual mining that does matter your main ethereum um, mining will be eaten up because you're mining uh, you know decreed or whatever other altcoin you have going on and then you know one of those gooey miners like Na a nice hash or a miner gate will be dropping your percentage even more so every card is different of course silicon lottery does matter uh, as far as memory is your is your biggest key player um, you know you can overclock your core clock to as much as you want but realistically uh, let's see if if I drop this down to around a hundred what is, happens to my hash rate it's all about memory see so I'm still around 30 mega hashes uh, so memory is what it's all about Running your card at full load is going to heat up your electricity. It's going to kill the card. Uh, heat is a issue. So if you're running these cards in one case, one system, or you're building your own rig and you got good airflow, then good on you. But the point and moral to the story is no. If you are running PCIe times 16, one by one, 2.0 or 3.0 it does not impact your hash rate so take it with a grain of salt take it with whatever you want just from my own experience this is what you see I got the 1070 going to work I'm gonna do some fine-tuning here uh, try to get my power usage lower than you know well I would like it to stay right there nope goes back up to 150 all right so I got some fine-tuning to do gonna have my 980Ti uh, my 1070 and my 1080 Ti working. I am not betraying my gamer friends and life. I am doing this on the side. Of course, I did just buy a 1070 specifically for mining. So, hmm. Contradictions. Hypocrites. Anyways, my 1080 Ti will be in my gaming rig and I will game with it. While the 1070 and 980 Ti work in unison to mine some Bitcoin altcoins and uh, good luck to you in your money adventures.